At the Austin Diagnostic Clinic, we've really experienced a tremendous improvement in the quality uh, and coordination of care that we can provide our patients. Um, we, as uh, providers, find that um, we can do a better job of documenting, and our patients are very pleased with how our physicians are able to share information, and they feel very safe um, and feel confident in our communication with our electronic medical record. One of the features of our EMR uh, that is extremely powerful is um, the ability for clinicians in our clinic to communicate with one another about shared patients. And we do that through flags, and they're basically like instant messages. So that if I see a lab result um, on a patient that I share with another physician, I can alert them and let them know about it, let them know what I plan to do, and then let them know that I'll be sending that patient for follow-up. Um, physicians can also communicate with clinical questions. We can uh, help each other in the care of patients, um, just getting general advice. So I, I think that we work together as a team a lot more because of our ability to communicate outside of the patient's chart, but um, with reference to the patient's care. I think uh, one of the important things that I can do as a physician prior to an office visit is I can make sure that I'm up to date with everything that's happened to the patient you know, during visits that they've had in our clinic. And many of our patients are followed by multiple doctors in our clinic. So I can review the chart and make note of uh, changes that have occurred or events that have occurred, such as hospitalizations. Um, I can review the updates on medications and problem lists right you know, as I'm about to see that patient. So I feel like I'm much more familiar with the patient's overall healthcare situation. We've learned a lot um, from our process, and because we started very early on in, in the development of our medical record, we've, had, we've been using it for 10 years. Um, we have a lot of lessons that we can share, and I think one of the main ones is to go slow and to make sure to implement very extensive training um, and to start with small projects, to not try to do everything on the electronic medical record all at once. Another thing that I think I would like to share with those who are starting out with a new uh, electronic medical record is to consider looking at your workflow and then designing the, the templates or the, um, the forms that you'll be using in the record to match that rather than uh, designing something separate from the workflow because we, we really learned that uh, the hard way that it really matters that if you, you if you develop the forms within the chart to match what you do in the office that your workflow and your documentation will be much uh, better. Without our electronic medical record, we would not be able to report data for um, quality reporting or preventative health care outcome reporting. Um, so we have tools on electronic medical record that capture this information as it's entered into the chart at every visit. And at the end of every visit, we have a reminder that pops up in the patient's chart to help the physician remember to complete all of the key uh, elements that are required by the government. Um, that has been very successful for us in our clinic, and we were able to submit um, a lot of data with the majority of our physicians participating, and financially, it was very beneficial for us. So I think that it, there, there are two positives for, for clinical groups to do this. One is that we're taking better care of the patients, being more focused on prevention, and there are some financial incentives as well.